friends, Samuel Robinson here and welcome back to another video. Today is a super exciting day because I'm flying to BC to visit my girlfriend Martha and the best part is that she has absolutely no idea that I'm coming. So it's just about um, 10.45 and my flight leaves at 2 so I just need to get all the stuff packed up in the car and then we'll be on our way. Bye, Jake. Yeah. Have a good time. Okay. See you later, eh? Bye, Sam. Bye, Sam. Have a nice trip. Okay. Bye, home. now but it was like 15 minutes before we'd even left and I'm calling Martha explaining how we're gonna be outside doing wood and stuff all day and Jake barges in and he's like you can't even tell her you're coming and thankfully I muted like I don't know half a second before he started speaking but like 15 minutes in and we've already got a close call so we'll see how the rest of this day goes. Hello. just made it to the airport. Mom's dropped me off. This is what an airport looks like during COVID. It's crazy. It's just like abs there's no one back here behind me. Anyway, mom's gonna be outside for a bit just um, waiting to make sure that I get through security and everything okay. Um, you never know when you might get turned back, especially during COVID. Justifiable if they say you can't go. So anyway, I'm going to see what happens here, and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, made it through security, passed the temperature check, looks like we're good to go. So i got to find my gate now, and hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Still got like an hour and a half before the flight leaves. So it's been almost um, seven months, I think, since Martha and I have last seen each other. And um, as anyone that's been in a long distance relationship will know, that's actually pretty hard to do. Um, of course, we've been blessed with technology that allows us to FaceTime and to call all the time, but it's still not the same. And so it's gonna be really exciting actually getting to see her after seven months. So we've actually had a couple of flights booked since last October I went there. I think we've had two or three that have ended up getting canceled just because of the virus. You can never be sure whether or not you're actually going to get a flight. But Martha thinks I'm coming in about a month. So I have, I did have one booked for May 14th, which is about a month from now. So she thinks that's when I'm coming, but she doesn't know I actually switched it to today just a few days ago. So hopefully that's a surprise for her. And it's my job today to keep it a secret, so hopefully she's super surprised when I just show up at her house.
So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what I'm actually telling her that I'm doing today to make sure she doesn't find out. But basically I've told her we're gonna be out all day um, cutting wood for our fire in during the winter. So I've told her we're gonna be doing that all afternoon and then in the evening we're going over to our grandparents for dinner. Now, the only problem is that normally we do not cut wood for like eight hours. So I'm hoping that she kind of just doesn't think too much about it and that hopefully it's a good enough excuse. Um, but I guess we'll find out when I see her tonight what she actually thought. Than I could have hoped for. 